Hello friends, welcome to Intellectual Tech. So in this video, we will discuss about some Java MCQ question of NFTQ simple test. So the first question is on your screen, and the question is saying what is the output of the following code snippet? There is two class called will and the demo. So it is asking the output. Okay. So we will trace it from the main method. We are creating the object of build class that is build build obj equal to new build ten. So it will create an instance of build okay and uh, it will point to a object that is if you observe the class of build there is one instance member that is item price so it will point start pointing to the item price okay and we are initializing 10 so if you observe the constructor of the build class so inside this constructor we are initializing this dot item price equal to item price means it is initializing the instance member of the item of the class with item price and what is the item price that is 10 we are creating we are passing from here okay so initially it will hold 10 fine so inside the in the second line system dot out dot print ln build obj dot item price well guys here item price is not private so we can directly access it from outside the class so it will print 10 because build obj is pointing a object that is item price initially and it is holding 10 okay so it will print 10 so from print system dot out dot print ln it will print 10 and after that we are calling build obj dot display if you observe the display method inside the build class so inside display method we are creating a local variable called item price and we are initializing it by 20 okay and after that we are printing system dot out dot print ln item price so it will print guys 20 okay if you if you use a statement this dot item price inside the print ln so it will print 10 okay otherwise it will print 20 so the output of the code will 10 and in the second line it will print 20 okay okay come to next question consider the binary search code given below so we have given a binary search code over here okay the question is saying consider the array of elements having six elements with low as zero okay and high as five the elements of the array are as follows so we have six element initially given below okay the question is saying find the number of iterations when using binary search if the element to be searched is six so we have to find how in how many iteration we will able to find the element six that is on the second location in the array okay so i i hope the question is clear and this is quite easy so we will trace it using binary search so let's move to the next slide and okay these are six element and we have to find the how in how many iteration we will be able to find this search element that is six so in first iteration low value will be zero and high value will be five so we will first calculate the mid okay so 0 plus 5 by 2 that will be 2 integer upon integer is always integer so 0 plus 5 is 5 5 by 2 equal to 2 okay so it will check a of mid double equal to search element no a of mid is 9 that is mid is 2 okay and a search element is 6 so condition is fault so this condition will true a of mid greater than search element so a of mid is 9 and the search element is 6 so low value will be as it is and the high value will be mid minus 1 so if you come in second iteration so low value will be 0 and high value will be 1 that is mid minus 1 that will be 1 from first iteration okay so again we will calculate the mid value that is 0 plus 1 by 2 so it will 0 okay 0 plus 1 by 2 will be 0 so in this with this mid value so this condition will be true a of mid less than less than search element because a of mid will be 5 and search element is 6 so it is less than search element so we will increment the low value with mid plus one okay so mid plus mid is initially zero so we will add mid plus one that is zero plus one that will low value will be one and high value will be as it is so we came to third iteration okay so in third iteration low value is on high value is one so again we will calculate the mid value so low plus high that is one plus one is two and two by two is one so check the condition a of mid double equal to search element so in this case a of mid is six okay and search element is also six so this condition is true so total number of iteration need is three okay so in total number of three iteration we will be able to find number six at number six is at location one okay so okay let's come to next question the question is saying what is the output of the flowing code snippet okay there is a class called question and there is main method so inside main method we are creating three integer variable that is where one and uh, initializing with 22 and the second one is another where initializing with 7 and the third one is result fine apart from that we have two string variable that is str and initializing with 1 and second one is another str initializing with 2 fine 
and we have an expression called where into another where by another where so we know the where value is 22 okay so 22 into and another where is 7 from here okay so 22 into 7 by 7 so we know that first this part will be execute and 7 by 7 it will 1 okay integer upon integer is always integer so it will give you result 1 so 22 into 1 that will be 22 so result will here from this line result will hold 22 okay after that we come to if condition if result less than 22 no guys result is double equal to 22 so this condition will false okay so we came to else part okay so system dot out dot print and another str so in this part we will print the 2 that is another str is 2 so output of the this code will be 2 okay i hope okay we come to next question the question is saying what is the output of the flowing code snippet okay there is a class called tester and inside this there is a main method and a loop so we have to tell the output of this code okay if you observe the loop variable that is loop equal to 0 and it is going from 0 loop less than 5 and in every iteration we are incrementing loop by 1 okay so it will go initially 0 to 4 because it is less than 5 so if well loop value will be 5 we will exit from the loop okay so let's say in first iteration loop value is 0 so it will check loop greater than 2 no it will check again loop greater than 4 no so it will print the value of loop that is 0 so let's print the 0 here after first iteration it will increment the value of loop that is it will 1 initially it was 0 it will become 1 okay so in second iteration it will check 1 greater than 2 no it will check 1 greater than 4 no it will print the loop okay so it will 1 after second iteration it will increment from by 1 okay so it will be 2 so in third iteration it will check 2 greater than 2 no 2 double equal to 2 so this condition is false it again check 2 greater than 4 no so it will print the value of loop that is 2 okay after third iteration it will increment and will become 3 okay it will check 3 greater than 2 yes it is true so it will continue the loop and after that we will not go to the next part after continuing the loop okay so we will go and the loop value will be increment so it were 3 it will increment to 4 again it will check in fifth iteration 4 greater than 2 yes it is true so again it will continue and go to and loop value will be increment from 4 to 5 but when we go to 5 so here is condition 5 less than 5 the condition is false okay so we will terminate from the loop so output of the code will be 0 1 2 okay okay we come to next question it is saying consider the code snippet given below okay so there is a customer class and there is another tester class okay it is asking how many objects and reference variables of class customer will be created okay if you observe the tester class inside this we are saying customer ob is equal to new customer guys we know that in java we all we create object using new keyword so we are using new keyword twice here in first line and second line so two objects will created using these two lines okay and two references already there is one obj and there is second one is obj1 fine so two object two reference gets created in third line we are saying only creating the object reference obj2 of customer class so three reference will get created and fourth line we are another creating the fourth reference obj3 and we are initializing the obj reference inside this so total number of object will still two but reference will be total four so using according to this question total number of reference is 4 and total number of object is 2 okay so if you observe the option of this code so 2 objects and 4 reference variable option number b will be the correct option okay let's come to next question it is asking what will be the output of the below code so there is a class called list example and inside this there is a main method and some codes okay so let's trace it so guys uh, here is a list reference we are creating list reference and inside that list reference we are assigning the object of array list so it will get successfully executed because array list is child of list interface okay so inside second line we are adding i in th third line we are adding law of java and language okay so we have four main strings inside our list okay if you observe these lines so we are saying that iterator of object iter equal to list dot iterator so guys when we, you will call this one so it will return the iterator of list string okay and we are assigning it into iterator of object so this 
line will generate error because incompatible type string cannot convert it to object so this line will generate error if you observe this option so this option will be true that is error incompatible type string cannot be converted to object so option number b will be the true according to this question okay okay let's come to next question it is asking what is the output of the flowing code so guys there is a class called base and there is another class called derived which extends base class and there is third one that is derived one which extends derived okay so this code was quite long i have put it into two slides so if you observe second slide so there is a, another class called tester and inside this there is main method okay so we are creating base reference that is base base reference equal to new derived one so it is holding the object of derived one okay if you observe the second statement that is system.out.println and inside this we are calling base reference.run okay so guys we, we know reference is of type base but it is holding derived one object and in our class in our every class all functions are non static okay so it will give preference to object okay so it is holding derived one object so derived one run method will execute so if we will go inside derived one there is no run method so it will go in its parent class whether there is any run method yes here it is run method so it will execute and it is returning fun okay it is calling fun so it will execute its fun function that is of type private and it is returning one so control will return one here and it will come here one and it will return one from here inside println statement so system.out.println will print value one okay so output of this code will be one i hope you understood please like this video and subscribe my channel for more videos and uh, join my telegram channel for campus related tips programming tips